Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, a lot of business have been affected. So what's the government have been done to help the business to keep their employee? Right, so due to COVID-19 um, and the shutdown, uh, a lot of business has been affected uh, detrimentally. So, based, so Congress back in March passed the CARES Act. Uh, essentially, it will provide roughly $300 billion into a program called the PPP, which is the Payroll Protection Program. Uh, where it will help and enable small businesses to stay afloat, uh, help them to uh, pay their employees' paycheck, rent, uh, utilities, interest, and other uh, pension com uh, contributions. Uh, essentially, all operating expenses for business uh, to stay uh, intact. So back in around April, within two weeks of this bill, um, the money ran out. Uh, subsequently, Congress injected additional $346 billion uh, into the program. And as, now, as we stand at now this recording, uh, there is roughly about $100 billion left in this program. The PPP uh, maximum loan amount that one can get is roughly uh, 2.5 times uh, the monthly average for their payroll that they pay out to their employees within a span of 12 months. Uh, the amount of the PPP can be forgiven if the business spends roughly 75% of that loan to pay their employees and then the additional 25% to pay their interest or their rent expenses, uh, which can be forgiven. So in order to uh, apply for this loan forgiveness, uh, recently uh, SBA, the Small Business Association, just recently came out with a form called the form SBA form 3508 uh, payroll protection loan forgiveness uh, application. It's a uh, it's an 11 page document uh, that the business owner would fill out and then submit that to the lender and also to the SBA for this uh, forgiveness loan, uh, of the loan. So any portion of this loan that you cannot document that you pay to your employees or that goes to rent, uh, then it has to be paid back. Uh, to the SBA within the t uh, span of two-year period at 1% interest rate. So besides of this funding of the program, anything new, any new information? Just uh, last week, they came out with a new guidance uh, on uh, how a small business should approach this application. Um, now, if you are a small business and you have other sources of uh, money, uh, say from a, another bank or personal finances, then it is highly encouraged that you do not apply for this program. And, uh, if the money is found to be unnecessary, uh, you could face criminal uh, investigation, criminal charges. Uh, those charges are up to a um, million dollars in fine, or worse, uh, up to 30 years in prison. Will the SBA review the individual PPP application? So with this new guidance, uh, the SBA, uh, in consultation, with the Department of Treasury, uh, will review uh, all applications, all loans uh, ex exceeding $2 million. And other loans, that will be up to their choosing. The suggestions that I give to my clients is that if you don't need it, don't use it. Uh, return that money back to your bank, to the government. Um, and if you do need it, uh, a portion of that, then use for, to pay off your, uh, or to pay your employees, your expenses, your rents, and document all of that. Uh, have a good record, how you spent the money, keep track of all those expenses. And when it comes to submit the loan forgiveness, you have all those documentations in order to submit to the lender or to the government should they ask later on. Um, and also, if you have not and you need it, then go ahead and apply now. So do that now, apply now, so that way you have it uh, when you need it.